Welcome back. Hard to believe we're in a new month already. Already August here, and uh, that means we're going to take a look back at our July monthly recap at a high temperature of 98 degrees last month, a low of 44. Precipitation wise, we've done a little better here in this past week, but we're still below average. We only picked up uh, just shy of two and a half inches this past month, and normally it's three and three quarters of an inch of precipitation. So uh, we'll still take what we can get for sure. Check out uh, a closer inspection of that rainfall last month, and you can obviously tell that most of the days in July we're dry here in the Twin Tiers and again that actual rainfall total 2.41 at the Elmira Corning Regional Airport and even more impressive were the temperatures every day except three this past month. We were above average in the temperature department and 11 days uh, in July we were 90 degrees or better. So definitely feeling like summer this year here in the Twin Tiers and uh, we're going to get back close to 90 again towards the end of this week. Few evening showers and thunderstorms tonight, otherwise partly cloudy, partly sunny tomorrow. Just a stray shower possible in the afternoon near 90 by Friday, and we're calling for mainly dry conditions for the weekend. Big game at the Dunn tonight, uh, heading into the playoffs here, taking on the pilots. Passing thunderstorm can't be ruled out. Much of the game, though, should be dry and temperatures first pitch at 705 in the upper 70s. Low pressure just off to our south, pushing a cold front off in that direction. But notice over the Great Lakes area, high pressure and control that pushes our way here over the next 48 hours. So other than a stray shower tomorrow, looking at mainly a dry stretch of weather here as we go to the midweek period and temperatures on the rise. Now, as far as the comfort cast goes with these dew points into the mid 60s, at least we'll keep them in the mid 60s. So staying kind of uncomfortable here as far as humidity is concerned. Flash flood watch for Bradford County until 2 a.m. And uh, flood advisory continues just until 630 for Chemung and parts of Tioga County in the southern tier just because of these pockets of heavy rain that are moving through, the worst of which now up towards the Spencer Van Etten area with some heavier downpours, but all this should diminish here in the next hour or so. And then some pretty good rainfall here over Tioga County in the northern tier of Pennsylvania, although the rainfall rates there not quite as intense. Farther back to the north and west and through the Finger Lakes where we really could use that rain, dry conditions persist. Temperatures, well, dependent on where it's raining or not, but only 71 in Aaron, but we're still looking at near 80 in Penyan and Watkins Glen, 74 in Elmira. And by the way, I have to wish a very happy anniversary, 57th anniversary to my weather watchers, Rich and Roseanne watching right now in Wellsburg. Congrats on reaching that milestone. A future track tonight showing the showers and thunder showers pushing off towards the south and east. Just some scattered clouds and some patch areas of fog out there. Tomorrow can't rule out a stray shower, but much of the day will be dry. Temperatures low and mid 80s. Again, the humidity wise, rather uncomfortable once again. And Wednesday, maybe a sprinkle in a few spots. Nothing more than that, though. We're going with the dry forecast right now. Temperature staying in the mid 80s. For today, we forecast 82, 84, the unofficial high. Tonight, evening showers and thunderstorms, otherwise partly cloudy, down to 61. How about an 84 for tomorrow's five degree guarantee? Just a slight chance for a shower. First warning, seven day forecast showing the heat building through the week. 90 by Friday. Obviously, race weekend here at WGI. An early shower Saturday, but the bulk of the weekend is looking dry. Temperatures by Sunday, 83, upper 70s heading into early next week. So, again, a couple downpours this evening, mm -hmm. but for the most part, this next week is, is looking dry. And, of course, everybody, uh, if you're a NASCAR fan, you are very concerned with the forecast for this coming Sunday because right. what happened at Pocono yesterday and today, not we so We don't good. want that to happen. There no. will be a front coming through right now. We're thinking Friday night, early Saturday, so we've included that 30% chance Saturday morning. Otherwise, it should be dry this weekend. All right, Joan, welcome back. Thanks.